department has uh, always been the prime mover on tax technology. The reason is that they actually began taking steps on digitizing both processes and data way back in the beginning of 2000. Uh, but, uh, and, and they are fairly ahead of the curve in terms of uh, all aspects of digitization of tax data. It's only now that taxpayers are really catching up. And today, um, uh, most taxpayers are using some form of intervention aside from Excel, of course, uh, to uh, figure out and uh, digitize and report their tax uh, attributes to the department. Uh, in many clients, what we have seen is that a lot of time actually gets spent on reconciliations and especially reconciliations between their data given from the ERP systems to what's being reported in the tax return or their data uh, against what is being reported in tax portals like the 26 AS data or the TDS data of their customers. So uh, a lot of time actually gets spent in uh, reconciliations and one of the big areas of focus many companies have is therefore to reduce either the incidence of reconciliation or to alternatively or significantly operate those reconciliations. And that's an area a lot of companies are today focusing on. What companies perhaps need to focus on in the future is how uh, AI and data analytics can come in to kind of help uh, make certain tax choices. Today, uh, actually a lot of those choices are made manually. Uh, but there is potential for e, uh, AI learning and certain types of interventions by computer databases to be done in order to improve the quality of choices that are made uh, at the time of filing a tax return. An example of that would be a tool that perhaps looks through all the 43B type of disallowance situations based on case law before deciding whether the amount should be claimed or not claimed in a tax return. Uh, there is a tremendous scope for growth in those sort of offerings and I think we are just still scratching the surface over there. Other areas of focus for many tax organizations include reconciliation of their reporting that they have done either to the company law board as part of corporate reporting or to the GST authorities for uh, GST reporting. And many times what happens is that a set of reconciliations need to be done between all three sets of records. And if data can be pulled from one single data lake, then that could significantly shorten the time for those reconciliations. So a two-pronged approach is ideal. One, avoid reconciliations where they can be avoided and two, where they cannot be avoided, then try and use a single source of data and uh, to minimize the amount of reconciliations that need to be done. Other areas uh, that are being looked at in terms of computerization, including uh, reporting for audits in as part of faceless assessments. The department continues to follow the traditional approach of asking for information via email checklists, that is going to change in the future with uh, uh, new uh, uh, formats being designed by the department uh, to kind of report uh, tax attributes to them electronically so that these electronic checklists that are uh, constantly coming to taxpayers can be avoided. Uh, this is going to be a trend in the future and this will also help meet the purposes of faceless assessment because it's cutting out the intermediary, the manual intervention for making those checklists and then examining the information furnished by taxpayers. It'll all now be done by a computer with huge amount of accuracy, with ability to eliminate any kind of corruption in the process, with the ability to do it consistently across a wide set of uh, taxpayers, the ability to collect information across a wide set of taxpayers. So I think uh, it's a win-win situation if that can be implemented. 
So uh, what I'm ultimately alluding to is that uh, the department is close to perhaps uh, you know, giving out formats for safety reporting. And if that happens, that will be a significant jump again in terms of computerizing and digitizing tax records and assessments in India.